Lesson 118, Asking Questions in German. Lisa, we've spoken a few times about positions, how sometimes when you describe a German sentence, you talk about first position and second position. So Lisa, here as we talk about asking questions in German, we're flipping a few things around in the sentence. Could you say a word or two about how we're flipping things around and what goes in what position? Of course. So, as we had established earlier in a statement, you want to put the verb in the second position, and your subject would normally be in the first position. To make the sentence a question now, you just swap the two around. So that means that you have the verb in the first position now and the subject in the second position. So a word-for-word -word translation of this German question would be, speak you English? Yes. When I say that, it sounds like very archaic English, like something a knight would say from the medieval period. Show ye allegiance to the king. Something like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You can play around with this a little bit. Whenever you say a statement sentence, you can try to make it into a question, actually, by just swapping the two around, the verb and the subject. Or the other way around, if you have questions, like in the exercises below, you can actually try and make them into a statement or actually answer them, if you like. So you can practice switching the subject and verb as a way to practice converting the sentence from statement to question. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. And this technique is called inversion, when you flip the subject and verb. And I believe you do this in other languages too. French, for instance, instead of vous parlez français, you speak French. It's parlez-vous français. Mm -hmm. So again, you flip the subject and verb just like in German. So this is not something that's only happening in German. This happens in several different languages. For those of you who might be studying more than one language.